President Bola Tinubu has instructed Wale Edun, the Minister of Finance, to calculate the cost implications of a new minimum wage. In a press conference in Abuja on Tuesday, the Minister of Information and National Orientation, Mohamed Idris, stated that the President had met with representatives of the federal government who were negotiating the minimum wage with labor unions. According to Idris, the meeting was attended by the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, George Akume, the Minister of Budget and National Planning, Atiku Bagudu, the Minister of State for Labor and Productivity, Nkiruka Onyejocha, and the Group Chief Executive Officer of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation and NPC Limited, Mele Kiari. Idris revealed that the President directed Wale Edun, the Minister of Finance, to present the new minimum wage figures within two days and that this presentation would form the basis for the ongoing negotiations. We thank Labour that they have suspended the truth in their awards uh, last night. They have suspended their strike uh, the early this morning. And uh, government on the side, uh, you can see that uh, the President has just summoned a meeting of all those who negotiated on behalf of the federal government, led by the Secretary of the Government of the Federation, we're all there to look at those issues, and then uh, the president has directed uh, the minister of finance to do the numbers and get back to him uh, between today and tomorrow, so that we can have some figures ready for negotiation with labor. Uh, let me say that Mr. President uh, is determined to uh, to go with what the committee has said. Uh, he is uh, also looking at the welfare of Nigerians. Like I've said earlier, government is not against; it's not an opponent of uh, uh, labor discussions. It's not an opponent of. Uh, a wage increase. Uh, but what is there is that government is always desirous of ensuring that there is a balance between what government pr pronouncement is and what realities are on ground. And therefore, uh, we will work assiduously to ensure that whatever we do, uh, whatever promises the government uh, makes will be kept. Uh, that's the idea of this meeting. A wage award is not just that of the federal government. Like I mentioned earlier, the subnationals are involved, uh, the organized private sector is Labour that staged a step out during those proceedings. Now that we have come back to the negotiating table, all of us will work together again uh, assiduously within the next one week to ensure that we have a new uh, uh, you know, wage for Nigeria that is acceptable, that is sustainable, that is also realistic for all Nigerians. We've just uh, started, set an agenda, and then we'll come back tomorrow and then we'll start the work. Is there a figure in my mind? You know, the truth of the matter is that uh, we will improve. And whether they, there's a figure in mind, um, you will know that at the end of the day. They walked out and then we called them, uh, pleaded that they come back to the safety table. We were expecting that everything would come to an end and then we move forward. Because there are a lot of things to do. We've wasted too much time on this. We have a lot of things to do and the mandate of the Ministry of Labor and Pro um, employment is to make sure that poverty is reduced and that we create jobs or, or create wealth. So why would we sit down and just uh, be wasting our times when we know that uh, uh, time's waste for nobody? So I'm optimistic that uh, we're going to come to conclusion of this and so that we're able to move to the next level. Earlier, organized labor, it's indefinite strike action for one. Organized labor suspended its indefinite uh, strike for one week to negotiate with the federal government on a new minimum wage. The Nigeria Labor Congress, NLC and Trade Union Congress, TUC, had declared an indefinite strike which started on Monday over the failure of the federal government to meet their minimum wage demand. One week, that was our agreement. And even international conventions, they say you don't, they will say that gone for it. So whether they, they thought that they were negotiating at one point or whatever. So. We didn't suspend, we relaxed when our statement comes out and we relaxed our actions for one week so, so that we can negotiate. Yesterday's meeting was a kind of mediatory meeting and then we're going back to the appropriate organ that discusses wages. So we've come, we turned back to status quo and they alone. So the status quo was the for 97 and the 60,000. So depending on depending on good faith, you know, we can move up and down to reach an agreement. But if not, understand it. Moving beyond 60,000, prior to now, even there was a challenge on why by some subnationals on why should you even agree on 60? 
and they were quarreling among themselves. Why should we sit? Some of them didn't even agree. Well, the outcome of yesterday's deliberation shows that they are committed to moving beyond that. So it's like they have given a framework for us to negotiate, you know, to reach certain threshold. We followed the standard of um, a typical agenda for a meeting and we exhausted what we needed to do for today. So having exhausted what was in the agenda, we are joined for tomorrow. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.